Hey everyone, Technoment here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to allow app access to the calendar on your iPhone. So let's get started. So on the latest version, first thing you're going to do is go into your setting on your iPhone. And then from there on, we're going to scroll all the way down and click on apps. Now from the apps, you want to find the app that you want to give access to the calendar on your iPhone. So you're going to look for an app. For example, I'm going to go ahead and choose an app here that I know will need access. For example, I wanted to add open house events to uh, my calendar from Zillow as an example, right? So I want to go over here, click on calendars, and then you can allow two different access. One that allows that app to just add events only, or you can give it full access so it can see all events on your calendar. Either option will work depending on what you're looking to do. I'd say full access so you can, as you can see here, add stuff like that and then it can see your calendar help you better interact with that app as well. Now keep in mind, not all apps will have the ability to access your uh, calendar. So if you see an app that doesn't have it, that means the access to calendar isn't needed. Or if it does need it and you're not seeing it, what you need to do is delete and reinstall that app. So if an app uh, needs calendar access and you're not able to get it, just simply find that app, just long press and hold, and then remove app, delete app, delete it, and then just go back to the app store and reinstall it. When you reinstall it, it might ask you for permissions and you will say yes when you do reinstall it back from the app store. So that's how you give access to apps on your calendar. I hope this video was helpful. If so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.